Hi folks, welcome back to news updates, thoughts and stuff. And I'm also going to throw in a few uh, frequently asked questions today since it's been quite a while since I've done any of those. And we're going to start off today by talking about the uh, YouTube Google uh, merger. We've had a lot of changes on the account in the last uh, few weeks and the biggest one hit the other day with the commenting system where you can't be just a standard YouTube user anymore. And uh, you now have to have a Google Plus account. So if you ever want to provide any feedback on the YouTube videos, you now have to sign up for uh, Google Plus. And also I'd uh, urge you to also uh, make sure that you join our Facebook page so that you can at least get notifications through there uh, whenever we uh, produce a new video. A lot of people have been asking about the updates for the rocket mass heater and how the uh, wood chips are going in it. I did a lot of burns with it over the summer and it's been doing quite well. And the chiplet maker has also done uh, a pretty good job making up and grinding up the wood chips into smaller chunks. Um, what I am finding though is that there is a lot of ash in the wood chips, um, probably because of all the bark that's in it. So I have a lot more work to do with that and most likely I'm going to wait until next summer to uh, finish that project. So unfortunately you'll have to wait uh, quite a while for any updates with the uh, rocket mass heater. Next, you may recall in one of my latest videos is we had to take down our banana tree. It was simply just getting way too big and I was afraid it was going to uh, damage the greenhouse. In fact, uh, somebody sent me an article to a uh, greenhouse that a banana tree did poke through the uh, glass ceiling of the greenhouse. So now I'm really glad that I took it out. And one of my viewers uh, just sent me a uh, package that has a, um, a pink lemon tree in it. So I'm looking forward to getting that planted and wanted to send out a thank you to a user tube name of Citrus, appropriately named, uh, for sending me this uh, tree. So we're going to get this planted and uh, see how it looks. He does say that it's going to take a couple years uh, for it to uh, start producing fruit and I'll have to start pruning off any of the flowers in the first couple years. So we have a long wait to see uh, how well this little tree does in the aquaponics system. But I'm looking forward to seeing what it does um, here in uh, New England. So for some upcoming videos to look forward to, um, I had forgotten I had taken a whole bunch of video while we were out in Arizona at the aquaponics conference of the tours that we had done. So I'm going to uh, compile a montage of those together. And also I've been playing with some uh, vertical towers again, um, redesign sort of on uh, the strawberry towers and I will have a video on that at some point too. If you haven't been following us on our Facebook page or Google Plus page, we introduced a new website called trackmyplants.com and simply it's used for keeping track of your plants. Uh, we've been using it here in the greenhouse for about a year while it's being developed and it's quite helpful for monitoring your plants as they're growing to see how long it's taking to grow, uh, what your yields are and even just what you have in your various beds. So by simply uh, numbering your beds you can tell what you're putting into each bed and then uh, just when you go to harvest it, keep track of it that way. So we've had a lot of good luck with it and a lot of people have been signing up. So I just ask that you uh, go to the website, check it out. You can sign up. It's also free to use, which is even better. Uh, just a couple ads along the side of the page, uh, nothing annoying. So uh, you won't get a lot of spam or pop-ups and we also won't sell your name or give it away to uh, anybody else so uh, your information is safe on the site. We've been also working really hard on a new project that we're getting ready to introduce. Um, we're still waiting for some of our paperwork to come through and we're planning on uh, doing a Kickstarter campaign to help offset some of the initial costs of this and it's going to be uh, pretty cool. In fact here's a, a sneak peek of it in my hand of what it is little mystery thing and you'll just have to tune in a future date to see what it really is. So on to some of our frequently asked questions. 
First is, do you switch to winter vegetables like cabbage, broccoli, kale, and other greens in the cold months? Uh, we certainly do. Um, right behind me here is some okra that is now dying off just because it can't handle the colder temps. I usually let the greenhouse go down to um, around uh, 40 degrees at night. During the day it can get back up to uh, 65, 70 if the sun hits it right. And um, also we just pulled out all of our basil which um, just dies off in the colder weather. But we still are growing uh, lettuce and um, the strawberries will overwinter without any problem. Uh, the tomatoes will uh, overwinter also. And um, there is a whole bunch of uh, broccoli that's just starting to come up. Here it is. And we'll uh, be planting those in some of the media beds and try growing that over the winter. Also uh, some cabbage and of course a ton of uh, lettuce which will do just fine over the winter. Number two. Do you know how cold the system can get and still have effective bacterial conversion of ammonia to nitrites and nitrates? Um, I don't know the exact number, but here I'll usually let the water temperature get down to around uh, 55 degrees during the course of the winter. And I have not noticed any uh, increases in the ammonia spikes and uh, nitrites and nitrates uh, still uh, maintain a proper level. I do slow down the fish feeding a lot um, just so that they aren't getting overfed. Koi do need to uh, slow down their eating when they uh, start getting that cold and uh, if you overfeed them it can actually hurt them. So um, we do slow down the feeding which does slow down the ammonia production which of course then slows down the nitrites and nitrates. And just because the whole system is cooler and has a lot less light getting into it, uh, the plants just sort of slow down during the entire course of the winter. Uh, so basically to answer your uh, question about the bacterial conversion, yes a bacteria does keep running at uh, 55 degrees. I don't know how much colder you could get it, uh, but there are some strains that can handle uh, the colder temperatures at 55. Number three, what is your dissolved oxygen like in the raft beds? Do you do anything to add more oxygen to the water? Um, I don't do any bubblers in my system at all. I have um, a spray bar in the tank and I did a video about that um, last year. And also with the media beds, uh, the media beds, two of them drain into the raft beds and by doing that um, I'm pulling oxygen in around the stones and as the water floods and drains through that um, it captures some more air into the system. So there are no bubblers in my raft beds and I'm showing no sign of rotting with the uh, lettuce uh, that I'm growing in there. And I just pulled out a um, celery plant the other day and the roots on it were fantastically white, nice and clean. Uh, so having your media beds in front of your raft beds, they help to act as a solid filter. Um, I have some red wiggler worms in there and really provide clean water into the raft bed so you aren't getting any buildup on the roots at all. So again, no aeration in my system and partly I think probably because our water is a lot cooler here, it um, usually has a higher dissolved oxygen rate. Um, in the warmer areas you may run into some problems with that so um, I would recommend if you are going to experiment with that, um, check your dissolved oxygen levels and make sure that you aren't going to uh, starve your system of oxygen. So that's about it. I'd like to thank you for watching and again um, would appreciate it if you checked out the trackmyplants.com website and see uh, what you can do to help yourself grow your plants a little bit better. Thanks a lot and we'll see you soon.